I moved and could not feel my limbs. I was so light, almost I thought I had died in sleep and was a blessed ghost. And soon I heard a roaring wind. It did not come anear, but with its sound it shook the sails that were so thin and sear. And the coming wind did roar more loud, and the sails did sigh like sedge, and the rain poured down from one black cloud. The moon was at its edge. The loud wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on. Beneath the lightning and the moon, the dead men gave a groan. They groaned, they stared, they all uprose, nor spake nor moved their eyes. It had been strange even in a dream to have seen those dead men rise. The helmsman steered, the ship moved on, yet never a breeze up blew. The mariners all gan work the ropes, as they were wont to do. They raised their limbs like lifeless tools. We were a ghastly crew. The body of my brother's son stood by me, knee to knee. The body and I pulled at one rope, yet he said naught to me. I fear thee, ancient mariner. Be calm, thou wedding guest. T'was not those souls that fled in pain, which to their courses came again, but a troop of spirits blessed. For when it dawned, they dropped their arms and clustered round the mast. Sweet sounds rose slowly through their mouths and from their bodies passed. Around, around flew each sweet sound and darted to the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again. Now mixed. Now one by one.